Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 63. Today is October 5th. It is a great time. It is a good time to get up, to get motivated, to get moving, to be consistent, to get ready, and to be your best self in the shoes you're in. How are you doing today? Welcome to everyone in the chat. I hope everyone is phenomenally well. We have 23 people here today. It is a powerful day. I'm very grateful to see everyone. Kennedy, Ron, um, Natasha, Michelle, so nice to see everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Reality, you are here. Yes, yes. Thank you all for being here today. So I hope that you're journaling. I hope that you're moving extensively into the realm of where your next phase is going to be. You know, one good thing about an algorithm is when we're on social media, the very thing that we create or the very thing that we look up on either a Google platform or another uh, platform, we find that the system of the computer thinks after we create. So that's something I want you to be mindful of, my beautiful, shining entrepreneurs. I want you to understand that you are the creator of the destiny in which you manipulate your information. So this information could be something that is a one-time research idea. And when you look it up, the next thing you know, you have a hundred different genres of who is talking about this particular idea or this particular situation. So say you're looking up something like addiction. You're going to find so many people and what they're saying about addiction. This is good because it aligns and organizes your information portal. It makes sure that you get all the necessary data for your research. However, everyone has their own idea of what is defined as addiction. So being mindful of what you follow is something that is going to help you be more productive in what you're taking in. So we're talking about music. We're talking about the rhythm of music. We're talking about the genre and what is stated in music. And we know very well in the 90s, the music had a itch of subliminal messaging. It may not be said one way, but it's still going to have an undertone of whatever it is that the genre was speaking in that actual set of words that's being produced in that song. So before you know it, it's like you listen to a commercial while you're on the, you know, going to work and it's on the radio and all of a sudden for lunch, you want exactly what they've manipulated your mind to think that you wanted. And that's how it used to be because we could not change the algorithm to what it was that was being stated on the radio. But a lot of people said back then it was subliminal as well because there were times when I was on my way to work and this is going to sound very weird. (laughs) So entrepreneurs, just let me get this one out. There were times when I needed to hear a song I hadn't heard in a while. Say something from Johnny Gill, okay? And I was just like, wow, I would love to hear that song. So as I'm thinking about the song, all of a sudden, after the commercial, after whatever advertisement, after the song that was playing came on, a couple songs later, guess what came on? The Johnny Gill song I was thinking about. My, my, my. (laughs) So I want you to understand that we have the power to manipulate any system that is relevant to our connection. We just have to know it. There have also been times where the mind 
when it rained so hard, there was a time I needed a roof and it rained so hard, I would have to push the rain away with my mind and I would have to tell my mind, you know, I need you to go the other way. Whatever this wind is, whatever this is that's happening right now, I need it to go the other way. And as I'm thinking it, as I'm speaking it, as I'm putting it into manifestation, eventually that rain starts to shift, starts to move. That is the algorithm of the manifestation of what we can do with our subconscious mind. And another final example I'm going to use regarding algorithm is when yesterday there was this plane that continued, I don't know if it was a helicopter, if they were practicing or whatever, and it was overhead. And, and it was a beautiful day yesterday. The sky was very blue. And here comes this helicopter or whatever, and it's overhead. And it's to the point where it's extremely annoying. So much so that I had to sit back, meditate, and put my mind to tell it, do not come this way. It is because I was doing some things I needed. You know, I was on the phone and it was aggravating me and distracting me. So I had to move it with my mind. And subconsciously, we can do these things. It's very, it takes practice, but it can be done. Have you ever thought about someone? And as soon as you thought about them within that day, you'll see their face on your Facebook page automatically pop up something They've said something has happened to, you know, something in their lives. They've had a birthday party or they're going on a trip and they're on your Facebook page. That's algorithm. So basically what we do is we channel our mindset to think something specific. And when you post it on your social media page, it begins to algorithm it. It begins to it begins to set a set of rules or a process that calculates the situation within the computer. And somehow or another the computer recognizes that you're looking at this type of image, this type of situation. So being very clear on what it is that we are desiring to manipulate into our lives is going to determine how chaotic our day will be, how stressful it will be, how non-stressful it will be, or how peaceful it will be. There are times where people can conjure chaos into your world, you know, um, and sometimes we can look at this as just a reality or something random. But these random acts, these people we meet when we normally go somewhere or when we go somewhere that we normally don't go on a regular basis, and then we see someone pay attention to what's going on in our lives that's being present in the moment and aware that helps us to move to our next journey or move to our next step in the journey because there are a lot of things going on in the psychological mindsets of everyone. Everyone has the right for free will. This is a time of the universe where people are, you know, it's, it's, it, it's hard to live out here. It's hard to, you know, be consistent for some, but for others who choose to make it work for them, they find another way. They find a way to be realistic. They find a way to commit to being responsible and accountable for the things in which they do in their lives. So today, entrepreneurs, I want you to understand that these things that you're finding in your life, do not think that you're paranoid. Do not think that you're going crazy the universe is doing some powerful things and we are igniting and initiating the universe to help us see things differently, see things from a realistic standpoint. There was an all call on the cell phones yesterday 
and it is a worldwide uh, public announcement. If anything goes on in the world, uh, the whole world is going to know what's going on, whether you want to know or not, whether you watch TV or not. So basically, that is the mindset of putting the big brother in position to control the situations in life that happens wherever we are. We can be at a wedding and all of a sudden everybody's all call will just initiate and implement a reality at that point. So we have to be mindful of these things and see what's really truly going on. A final thing I want to talk about today is the conscious awareness of making sure that we know what is going on in our emotional mental states. When we go back to